29 gigabytes of data. That's like 1.21 gigawatt of video. Too much video last video. Don't use too big of a stud. What's going on YouTube? I hope you're having a good day. It is a cloudy, kind of dreary day today. But it's always sunny inside the shop. We got a couple bugs to work on today. We're just going to specifically work on this little old green piece over here. And green piece, I just came up with that. Green piece. Did you enjoy last episode? Did you like watching my race car take off? I bet you did. I know I enjoyed it. It was a kick, but man, I got some whiplash when I hit that throttle, baby. By the end of the video, we should have all of the major rust areas taken care of. Now again, it's probably not fixed correctly, but as I heard from some other people at a VW meet yesterday, it's not foam. I'm not repairing it with foam, so it's not quite that bad. So hold your comments on the nasty repairs that I'm doing because I know that there are people doing a much worse job than myself. Let's check out what we have to do today and get started. We still have to finish cutting this out and then put a repair patch in there. We gotta put a patch in here. I need to get this finished out, painted, and then put some undercoating on it. That looks disgusting. There, oh, you just lost it. Every once in a while, the gimbal just decides to stop. It's kind of entertaining. It's like, oh, I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying, and I give up. It's pretty funny. It has its own little personality. Not quite as entertaining or as lively as mine, but it does have a personality nonetheless. Well, that explains it. You can't have a gimbal without a battery. What are you gonna do without a battery, Mr. Gimbal? Well, I have a slight confession to make to you guys. Unfortunately, I forgot to press record when I cleaned up the front ender fender well right side hole. I may have forgot to press record when I cleaned up this hole. So as you can see, we have the hole kind of all cleaned up, ready to go, and now we just need to cut a template and get it going. 69 cent pair of scissors. I'll be a monkey's uncle. That's really close. I love you so. Would you go with me? <laughs> Singing is fun. You don't have to have a good voice, you just have to have a good attitude about it. So I finished welding in this plate and I filled it with some filler to make it smooth. I also touched up some areas that needed a little bit more filler as well. And then there's one other area that really needed to have some filler in it, but I just couldn't resist. I don't know what I was thinking, but I decided to take the big, big guns to it and take all of the Bondo off, took all of the paint off, and I'm left with what's behind me. So I decided to pull off the filler and the paint and expose the bare metal so that I can actually start working that metal a little bit. So I'm bringing up the big guns to fix this, quite literally, the stud gun. Wait a minute, if I use this thing, does that make me a stud? So we use the stud welder to weld studs into the dent, and then we pulled the dent out. So we got most of the dent out. Now what we have left are the stud marks. So we're still going to need to use filler, but at least now the dent is actually pulled out instead of just filling it full of Bondo. So I'm glad I did it, I'm glad I used the stud welder. It's a really cool tool. Hey guys, welcome to my ridiculously messy workbench. But I wanted to show you something and kind of a take some time to address cleaning your spatula if you're using body filler. So check a look, check a look, check a look. So if you use body filler, it'll stick to your spatula. Now I see a lot of guys that say, oh, just leave it dry on there and then you could just crack it off. And you can, 
It tends not to always come off all the way though. That's the number one piece. The other piece is if you need to do multiple applications on several different places, I don't want to have to wait for an hour for this to dry entirely so I can clean it off. So what I found that works the best is just taking a little bit of acetone to it. Whatever your method is that you mix your Bondo in, just use that to scrape the majority of the Bondo off and then use the paper towel with acetone to clean it off. I'm probably going to get flack because I've heard a lot of people say that cardboard is not a good mixing paddle because it soaks up the hardener. That might be true, but I just add more hardener. Like, it's not rocket science, people. If you have a better idea, let me know. I'm more than happy to be corrected here. But uh, cardboard's free, and I'm on a budget. <laughs> I wanted to go over a little bit of how to apply body filler with the spatula on a round plane. This is flat, or at least it should be. So if you can imagine putting this on a round surface, it's not going to do very well, right? So what I do is I take my thumb and I press it against my two fingers here on the outside, and it creates a curve. I curve the spatula to the angle of the body, and I'm good to go! Well, let me tell you, that's a little embarrassing. I recorded this whole spiel and asked you a bunch of questions and then realized just now that it wasn't recording. I had it set on camera. So I took a really long picture apparently. Let me go over it again. <laughs> okay, so I am considering doing something that I probably shouldn't do. My daily driver sitting over there, that white bug, drive it every day, drive it all over the valley, and I never have any issues with it. Sometimes it's a little harder to start, but it always runs and it gets me where I need to go. I want to show you the difference between this bug and my bug on startup. Now, it's not perfect. It has been running for about three minutes. Uh, when it's cold, the choke doesn't quite work right. It needs to be tuned up, but it sounds relatively healthy. So let's take a listen and see what you think on the difference between this engine and my engine. Now let's take a look at my daily driver. It runs really well and it sounds awesome if you picture it being a four cylinder diesel, but uh, it's not a diesel. So let's see how this one starts up and runs. Now this one's been warmed up. This one I've been driving. Again, this is my daily. So here it goes. Okay guys, it's getting time for me to wrap up for the day, but I wanted to go over what I've done. I welded that plate in, then I stripped off all of the filler here, got it down to bare metal. Took, you know what? If you don't remember what I just did, you need to go back and watch the video again. I don't need to recap this, I'm out. All right guys, that's it for me today. Thanks for coming along, I really appreciate it. Thank you for your time, your effort, and all of the energy you put into making this bug great. Wait a minute. You're not really doing anything to make this bug great, but you know what you are doing? You're sticking along, you're watching, and you're learning, and that's all I care about. I want you to learn, I want you to have fun, and let's enjoy this process together. Fenders. Really not looking forward to those fenders. Oh, yeah!